My name is Tessa Urbank. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. My brother had been a power lifter, uh, quite accomplished power lifter, and I had, he's my oldest brother, I had pretty much looked up to him my whole time growing up. Um, and I saw him doing it and I'd watch him, you know, deadlift and watch him compete. I always thought it was really awesome and I never, I actually kind of thought like, oh, I wouldn't do that because I'm a girl. And I started lifting and pretty much loved it right away and was consistent every week because I just enjoyed doing it so much. I felt like unstoppable, I felt like incredible, like if I can do that then like, there's so much more I can do. In terms of how weightlifting has affected me outside the gym, I feel like now I, I pretty much just like walk differently. Like. I have a whole different sense of like strength and power and I appreciate what my body's capable of and it gives it definitely gives you like a mental pretty much it's very empowering. It gives you, you know, I can do kind of anything I choose. I, I kind of don't fit inside the mold of what people would want to put me in, so that doesn't mean that I have to fit in that mold in any other aspect of my life. About two years ago, a little over two years ago, I got into a really bad abusive relationship um, with another well known power lifter and I got into that relationship because I was in a really bad place. I was really vulnerable. I didn't care about myself how I should have, so I wasn't making good decisions for myself because I didn't really honestly care what happened to me. I just, I didn't feel like I was worth much of the time. And at some point, I pretty much got sick of being mistreated. And I got sick of not having someone appreciate me. I had, I ha I'm very lucky to have some really good friends, girls who lift and just really good family that reminded me what was important and I'm extremely lucky for that. My favorite moments while lifting was definitely, absolutely no doubt, lifting 500 pounds about two weeks ago. And it always seemed like not reachable, but also it was still like a dream I had. I didn't think I would do it in four years. I thought it would take longer. But when I pulled it and then set it down, I walked back behind the curtain and I like looked at my sister and I was like, I, I did it, right? Like, did I just do that? Like, let me see the video. I can't believe I just did that. It took like days, definitely, for it to set in. It was definitely an incredible feeling. My next goal in lifting, I would love to be able to meet more girls that lift. I tend to be really shy and tend to not go to things and not talk to people that much because that's just kind of how I am, really introverted. But I love to be able to be like more outgoing, more extroverted, and kind of build more friendships and more groups of people. My advice to girls that want to start lifting would be to never decide on not doing it or not lifting because of what other people tell you and what other people say you should or shouldn't do. Um, don't be nervous or afraid when you go to the gym, even if at first it seems intimidating. Be proud of, even if you lift, you know, with bumper, 10 pound bumper plates on one side for a deadlift. Like, we all start somewhere. I think my first deadlift was like 75 pounds, like a Smith machine. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, no! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't flex. Do it. Yeah. <laughs>